Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. Ooh, Spirit wants you to know that you guys are either having a breakthrough or you're on a, the brink of a breakthrough. So it says there's an unexpected breakthrough happening in some area of your life. Faded events, unexpected messages, shocking love developments. I mean, anything can happen. All right, let's elaborate on that. What is this breakthrough about? Or what is this? So we have health. Okay. So it says expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. So it's almost like you guys are having a breakthrough within yourselves. Like you guys are going to be feeling better. Like Yeah, it's like you guys are going to be feeling better, looking better. Your health is going to be improving. Um, your mindset seems like it's going to be more positive. Oh, we have discovery. So it says, yeah, because you guys are honing in on your own. Yeah, you will discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remain undeveloped, unlocking the magician within you that will lead to emotional fulfillment and newfound confidence. So it's like you guys could be getting out of some type of rut that you were in. And it's like, you guys are coming to this realization or discovering that you guys have the knowledge, you have the ability, you you guys are powerful manifestors and you guys are maybe realizing that. Maybe there's also something coming in that's going to show you that you do have powerful manifestation abilities for some of you. You're going to have like a confirmation of that coming in. Um... But it's like you, you're something you're discovering that you have the ability to manifest the emotional fulfillment that you want, the life that you want. Let's see, elaborate, tell me more. Protection. Trust that you are being divinely guided right now. There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. Huh. Tell me more. Regret. Stop worrying that you missed your chance. Not all is lost. Keep going. The best is yet to come. Take care of yourself as you continue your journey. Whatever was lost will come back around. So you guys have definitely been grieving something here or like you were sad over something that you viewed as like maybe a missed opportunity or you missed your chances of doing something or you felt like you maybe felt like you lost something or somebody here. But spirit is it's like. And you guys maybe started neglecting yourselves. Like, you know how you know you get you're sad over something, you go through a breakup, you you suffer some type of loss, and you just start neglecting yourself, right? It's like you're kind of coming out of that energy and you're about to start really. It's like you're gonna be coming out of that hermit mode or coming out of that shell. You're gonna be uh taking care. Like, it's like you're gonna be noticeably doing better. Like you're gonna be start taking care of yourself again, you're gonna start going out again, you're gonna start having motivation to do things, that type of thing. Spirit says, whatever it is that you feel that you lost, Spirit is saying that it will come back around. So it's not, if you think something is done and over with, it's not. We have ancestors. It says your ancestors are rooting for your success as they watch you break ancestral karma. One step at a time, more gets cleared and more growth sinks in. All right, we have uncertainty. So there is this element here in this reading of like something kind of being up in the air. You guys not feel like you know, have all the details about something or you're just not sure where something is heading. Yeah, and it's because it says people may be playing mind games with you or leaving information out on purpose, which could lead to confusion and frustration. Be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. So there's maybe somebody here. Oh, the, the period of uncertainty is coming to an end here. You'll reach some kind of completion or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge. Definitely something new here because we have new birth. You're about to give birth to something new, your own business, a side hustle, a new approach to something, or perhaps a birth of a new baby. Whatever is, whatever it is, enjoy your creation. Wow, miracle. A miracle is coming your way and it's just around the corner, so don't lose hope. Trust that whatever is unfolding beautifully in your life, goodness, trust that it is all unfolding beautifully in your life without delays, but you have to remain disciplined. Yeah, repeat. Oh, here we go. So this is what this is. You guys are about to break a repeating cycle. You already have or you're about to. And it could be because your mindset has changed. You guys have really discovered your worth, your skills, your abilities. You found a new, you have, you have a newfound confidence.
Spirit wants you to know that if you if somebody isn't in your life right now, and you made you the fact that you, you and this person are not together right now, or that you had to walk away from them, or that they walked away from you as a loss, Spirit is saying that it's divine protection. Because this person is playing games with you or they're not telling you the full truth about something or some things, okay? Your ancestors are protecting you or they're guiding you and they're supporting you. They're rooting for you and when it comes to this situation. Spirit says there, there is no missed opportunity here. There is no missed chance. And for those of you that are really wanting to still be with somebody or hoping that there's maybe a future with you and somebody, Spirit says it will come back around, all right? Or for some of you, how do I put this? You guys kind of feel like you have an opportunity coming around to do it the, something the right way this time. Okay? you Especially in a repeating cycle situation. So, for example, just say like you and this person keep getting back together. You keep taking them back and then it's still they still treat you the same way or things still don't work out and then you break up and then you guys spend a little bit of time apart and then they come back and you take them back and Things are really not any different. It's like, you guys are maybe really beating yourselves up here for maybe the last time when this repeating cycle came back around and you didn't handle it. Because what did it say? What did the card say? With this new birth here, it says on here, a new approach to something. So the way you have approached this situation before obviously wasn't producing the results that you wanted, right? And I feel like you guys are beating yourselves up because you guys are like, I knew better. Th this person came back. They hadn't changed. They came back in the same energy. The situation, I, I once again ignored the red flags. Why did I do that? I had an opportunity there to create change. I had an opportunity there to, to create, to do something different and to have a better result for myself. And I, cho I chose to repeat the cycle and not do anything differently. Spirit says you haven't missed your chance. That cycle is going to come back around. Now, the question is, are you going to handle it with a different approach, a new approach? Or are you going to end up, you know, handle it the same way you always do and end up in regret? Does that make sense? That's why discipline is here too. Let me reread that card. Or maybe I never did read it. It says you will improve your self-control and not allow, allow impulses or feelings to dictate your choices by making level-headed decisions that will bring more peace and harmony into your life. So when this cycle comes back around to you, Spirit is saying that you're going to have improved discipline. You're not going to be making an emotional decision. You're not going to be making an impulsive decision. Um, you're going to really be thinking it through and thinking about, you know, is this going to bring me peace? Is this going to is this going to contribute to what I'm trying to manifest for myself? Is this going to be positive? Is this going to be uplifting? Is this going to be beneficial to me? You're going to be making a more level-headed decision this time around, Okay. But it says, you run the risk of repeating the same story, whether it's setting boundaries or finding the courage to speak up for yourself. It's time to do things differently. So, yeah. And we have recognition. It says, the spotlight is on you. Not only will you accomplish your goals and come out on top, but others will recognize your success. You fought a good fight. Yeah, romance. Yeah, love is yours to take. The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture in hopes to rekindle the love and your connection. It's something about when you really acknowledge this repeating cycle that you keep having with this person, the one that's on your mind, you know, the one that you came here probably hoping to get a message about. Um, once you start doing differently, you start speaking up for yourself and setting boundaries um, and approaching the situation differently and having more discipline and not letting your emotions and your feelings to be the, the determining factor, whether or not, you know, you deal with this person, you take them back, things like that. That's when you're going to get the recognition you always wanted from this person um, or in any relationship. You know what I mean? So that's when you're going to receive some, achieve some type of success or get some type of recognition from somebody that you have on your mind here. Yeah. So. What is, so somebody, what's career change? Hold on. You guys may have some type of change in your work or maybe what's the career change? Good luck. So if you guys are trying to, been, have you been trying to manifest some type of change in your money or your career, you're going to be manifesting that. It says you're manifesting nothing but good luck. Everything you put your mind to will flourish and go smoothly for you. Keep going, keep growing, and miracles will show up. We have forgiveness. You'll, you're finally getting over something or someone, and though it wasn't easy, you'll fully, ultimately forgive and move on peacefully to set yourself free. This person, you, you guys may still love this person, but... 
Um, you're no longer letting this person hold you back and hinder your growth and your success. Um, and you're no longer, they don't have the same hold on you like they used to. Okay. And yeah, clearing, you're finding alternative ways to find happiness, clearing away energy that doesn't serve you anymore and aligning with your higher self. Yeah. What does that do with career? What, what does that do with career change though? That might not be you Persp perspective. You'll realize that there's only one thing you can change your perspective and find peace in knowing that what you've endured has purpose. Even if you do not understand it yet jackpot see yeah what, what does that do with career change for my collective passion see you see somebody is supposed to be doing something that they're passionate about for work Ooh, what about ending something will come to an end that must take place where you can free yourself to move forward let go of what was and celebrate this could be this person because somebody's gonna take a leap of faith here what is what is um i still don't understand what does the career change have to do with my collective travel so some of you guys could be relocating for work there could be an opportunity to travel that will break up your daily routine and also help you discover and consider fresh ideas you hadn't thought of before. What does that have to do with career change, though? Some of you guys can be taking some time off work to go travel. What is travel career change? Talent. See, there's something about you have an ability or a skill. And it's like spirit is wanting you to do that for your career. You will feel empowered to share a unique talent that comes easily to you. One that will give you an endless flow of creativity and sense of peace and freedom. What does that have to do with career change, though? Do they, is that Are some of you guys not living your purpose? They're just telling you to put yourself first. You've been longing for, it says, showing yourself the love you've been longing for, but busy. So you're going to be, so for some of you, it's just that your work, if you feel like work has been slow, it's actually about to pick up. Expect to be busy. It might get difficult to balance your personal life and work, but if you cut out distractions and any unnecessary drama, you'll handle it like a queen. So you guys have a lot of like careers, like new clients and increase like like new opportunities to make money or something like you'll be have like a, a, a um how do I say that a bigger workload or something like that. But this is going to be manifesting like a lot of money and abundance for you, and it's going to keep you very busy. Don't let this person come in and distract you because it says you'll be able to handle all of it but if you let this if you let this person come in with this unstable ass energy yeah because you have yet yeah, eventually moving at a fast pace you may find yourself juggling multiple responsibilities that won't be flexible as events activities and other unexpected things arise so what does that do with my collective again secrecy see there's a situation or person that is not what it appears to be but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret pay close attention so yeah, it's somebody from your past, guys, who was keeping secrets from you. Who was keeping, they weren't telling you the full truth about everything. They were keeping things from you. But you guys have maybe been slowly uncovering what they have been hiding from you. But it says a situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or give you closure. You will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. But just also know, not only is this past person coming towards you, but we also have Gateway. A flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices to venture on a new path. Listen to your inner voice and let your soul make your decision. Expect to be busy. So you're going to be getting a lot of, like, attention, guys. Like, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. Like, you're, you'll have options here. And you're going to also be really busy with work. And then here comes this past person coming back. But Spirit says there's there's a lot of other things that are better than whatever this person that is keeping things from you has to offer. Like, there's better things here. But you got to be open to it. Yeah. And Spirit says it's okay to go down a different path. It may be challenging, but you're going to be very, it's not going to be as hard as you think. It's like you're going to choose to move away from this person, at least for the present. And it's like, boom, everything's going to take off for you. It's like once you make this decision to not go back down this path with this person, it's like everything that you've been trying to manifest and desire is going to happen for you. So it's like this person comes in, they're coming back, the repeating cycles come back around. You're choosing to not repeat the cycle. Your money's going to increase. Your clients are going to increase. Your options are going to increase. Like your job opportunities are going to increase. Like you're going to be very busy and it's going to probably be to keep you occupied. Like, because what are they, what is it? It's like almost like a, a distraction, but a good distraction. What is, what are they trying to be distracted from here, spirit? Yep, you're finally getting something that you've been waiting on for a very long time. A raise, a promotion, finish the project, found the love of your life. You should be proud. 
Rest. Yeah, you're disconnecting yourself from the world and giving yourself the space to rest and growing your awareness of what's real and what's meaningful to you. Yeah. It's like spirits trying to keep, you're going to be distracted. It's not going to be as hard as you think to maybe reject this person or to move away from them or to, you know what I mean? Because you're going to have a lot of, there's so much waiting on the other other side of you choosing to not go down and then repeat this path, this cycle with this person because they're still coming towards you in a very secretive energy or not wanting to be completely honest and authentic with you. All right. Um, gateway. So you guys may have, may have been holding on to this person. You don't, there's an energy you guys not wanting to lose this person. But spirit is saying, not all, is, it says, stop worrying that you missed your chance. Not all is lost. It's not a loss to reject this person while they're coming towards you in this energy. And if it is your person, you and this person will find your, your way back to each other. Maybe when they're in, more on your level or ready to actually come towards you and be honest with you and authentic. Yeah, because there is romance. Yeah, love is yours to take. The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture in in hopes to rekindle the love in your connection. See, but we have secrecy here again. What is secrecy about romance? Angelic help. Yeah, your angels are relieving you of your burdens. It's like they don't want you to have to worry about this situation with this person anymore. You've been through enough. They're like, let us take care of it. All right? It's okay for you to go down a different path and, and not... Ha not it, you know to go go on a different path away from this person for right now we're going to be putting a lot of things in your path that are going to be good and keep you distracted and keep you busy while we're, we're while we're handling this situation with this person person yeah you're going to work hard to find a way to bring your plans to completion with rekindled love for the journey and worrying less about the end result yeah they're not wanting you they're telling you to just keep going don't worry about how things are going to turn out just know that they have your back and they're handling the situation. This person's going to come back. Are they coming back correct? But it's it's like, it's going to require, see, because it's break down your walls, you're losing touch with the world and not giving yourself a chance to connect with other people. Learn to open up to others and accept those who are different, including you. It's like, this person needs to learn how to be vulnerable, guys. This person needs to learn how to, even if you guys are different, it's like this person is, is having a hard time letting you in. They need to learn how to get more in tune with their feelings and emotions to let their guard down. And Spirit says that's why it's okay for you to move in a different direction because this person needs to work on their inner child that's keeping them from having issues with uh, intimacy and being and having them um, be emotionally unavailable. It says you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. They need to heal their inner child. All right, and once they do that, like I said, they will be back, okay? Um, but focus on, you need to put yourself first, all right? They're wanting you to be very self-focused at this time. Yep, and that's actually going to lead to a lot of growth for you. All right, let's see what else they need to know or what you guys need to know is what I'm saying here. Um, let me see, I'm gonna get some tarot actually. <sighs> It's like you and this person not being together right now is divine protection because there's maybe some things going on that you're not aware of. Your angels, the divine, your ancestors know, but maybe you don't know. All right. Or they just know that this person um, is not coming towards you in the best energy and you deserve better than that. Um, they're just, they want to assure you that it's okay to, to choose yourself this time. Okay. It's okay to choose you. You choosing yourself isn't going to make you lose this person if it's the person you're supposed to be with. Choosing yourself may actually be the key to actually, because for some of you, I feel like you never totally had this person. You know what I mean? They were never, they had never completely put their all into this or completely invested in this. But you choosing yourself this time around may actually be the key, the breakthrough to this person coming towards you correct or coming towards you with an open heart, you know, actually investing in the situation. So your spirit just wants to assure you that nothing is lost here. Things may be uncertain and you may not know what's going to happen after you, re you reject them or what the future holds, but they're assuring you that, um, you know, 
it's 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 safe. It's safe to you know go down a different path right now and to choose you and to focus on you and nurturing yourself. Yeah, the star in reverse, Aquarius energy. Some of you guys are kind of feeling like the situation is hopeless. Or spirit says you still have healing that you need to do. But spirit is saying you you need to have more. You need to give yourself more credit. All right, you need to realize your like how valuable you are and how uh you know you're the empress the emperor whatever you need to realize your worth here it's like almost like you guys need to be more in this energy where you're like you know what you know i'm not saying you need to be conceited but you need to be in this energy where you're like i'm not replaceable you know there is another there isn't another me and you know like how do i explain this you guys need to think more of yourselves. Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You guys also need to know that you need to be in this energy where you're like, I, I you know, I never lose anything. You know, everything that I lose is always replaced with something better. Like, you guys need to shift your perspective and look at it that way, like, you know, oh, they rejected me. It was divine protection. That type of thing. You know what I mean? But what is it? Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? The Nine of Cups reverse. This person is just, they're, they're very emotionally unstable. They're going through some turmoil. They're not happy. Clear by the star in reverse, the Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. Somebody doesn't feel like y'all can make this work anymore, whether that's you or this person. What's the page of wands reverse? I don't think it's them. Yeah, you need, somebody needs to know that they are deserving of happiness. They are deserving of a divine love. They are deserving of a healthy, blissful relationship and fulfillment and something stable and having a family and all that stuff. Somebody needs to know that they are worthy of that. Because once some, once you really know you're worthy of that, that's when you will get it. You know what I mean? That's when you'll be, and when you get it, you'll be able to handle it correctly. Okay, both the Knight of Cups reverse. We have the Three of Swords because this person maybe had this opportunity with you to have the Ten of Cups, but they don't feel deserving of it. So they, what are they doing? They're probably sabotaging it. Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm releasing pain, forgiveness, emotional and physical healing. What does that have to do with? It's like you guys are becoming more emotionally stable here and knowing that you are worthy of what, you know, the relationship that you desire, the the family, the, the, the whatever, the and it's like you kind of just feel like this person, you can't have that with them. Tell me more. Talk about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Strength. Yeah, self-love and self-respect. I'm telling you. So what does this have to do with this person? So we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Justice. This person is going to open up to you. But it's once you step into this energy of knowing your worth, self-love and self-respect and strength honing in on your inner strength that's actually what i was going to say at the very beginning of this reading like you guys are honing in on your inner strength you're being more disciplined um you're knowing that you that you deserve what it, what you desire you deserve it and you can have it if, even if it's not with this person that's the energy you need to step into and you need to focus on your healing you need to focus on balancing your emotions This person's jealous too. I think they're jealous of the fact that you're healing or something like that, but they're going to open up to you and feel like they need to do right by you. Why? Three of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Mm, what about the Three of Wands and the Nine of Wands? They're telling you you're very close to something. You, you're very close to a manifestation coming in. And it's almost like there's nothing else you even need to do. Like there's nothing else you even need to do. They're, all you need to do is remain having your boundaries in place. Persevere, have faith, stand firm on your, you know, your knowing your worth and your your value, all those things. And something's coming in here. Yeah, it could be an air sign you're dealing with. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What about this King of Swords? They're kind of move forward. Yeah, they're going to take action to do what the world of reverse. What does that do with anything? Libra energy. The High Priestess. What about the High Priestess? The King of Cups. Yeah, cancer you're dealing with 
Okay, what's this have to do with the past person? Talk no action. Yeah, what's that to do with the King of Cups? So the Six of Pentacles. See, they're gonna reach. I don't know what's changing here, guys. But this somebody's returning from your past. I mean, it could be a water sign, but it's like somebody's gonna be coming towards you very open hearted, wanting something. It, it will be very reciprocal, balanced. How are we getting to that point, though? It's like you guys may even know that this person, once they learn these lessons, that's how they're going to come back towards you. How are they getting to that point? Ace of Wands. Yeah, feeling down. Okay. Time to make a move. Yeah. Somebody, all I know, guys, is that somebody is going coming is gonna be coming back towards you with a very different energy. Okay, like, but what's what's triggering this to happen? That's what I need to know. They're gonna be coming back towards you, a changed person from very cold and detached and logical to very emotional and very devoted to you, and they're gonna it's just it's gonna be different. It's like they're gonna be able to love you in the or it's like you're there to be love you, gonna be able to love you in the way that you love them and be emotional and open with you the way that you are with them. But okay, what is leading what's happening? Oh goodness. I'm having a hard time getting my words out, guys. I don't know if this person's like this or what, but what is leading to this change? Because there is a change here. There's something here about you guys. Yeah, we have Aquarius energy. What about the Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Libra. Heavy air energy here. See, I know I acted as if I couldn't make up my mind about our relationship, but it was really because I was scared. Scared of you hurting of, of hurting you and you hurting me. Okay. Naughty thoughts. We did have the Ace of Wands that just came out. Sexually fantasizing about you. Strong need to be physically near. Undeniable sexual desires driven by instincts. Okay, what about that? Taurus energy. We have a lot of signs coming out. Okay, what's difficult differences? I think I already said was talking about that. Differences of opinion and ideas and love. Differences in status, money, power, or culture. One awakened while the other is unawakened. This person was more of so wanting to have like a sexual connection with you. And I feel like you were, you wanted something more than that with this person. Or that's what you just wanted in general. And this person was more thinking sexual. Soulmate. I was getting that with the Six of Cups. Yeah, needs are... This is what they're going to come back towards you. I don't know how they're getting to this point. I'm still trying to get that. But it says needs are equally met. Challenges you to be more giving and loving. Deeply connected without the codependency or neediest. But how are we getting there? I became inspired by your presence, your energy, and your beauty. Without you, I am missing my tools to create my next masterpiece. All right, tell me more. I miss the family we created or the family that could have been. I realized I made a mistake by walking away from my happiness. You are my life partner, my other half, and my confidant. So it's something about them walking away from you. They're going to realize something or you walking away from them. So they're going to feel like something's missing. Tell me more. We have winter time, December 22nd through February 6th. What's the significance of that time frame? Significance. I am wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I am alone, I think about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. <sighs> okay. Yep, juggling. I have a need. I have a hard time processing what happened between us. Juggling my own personal responsibilities. I need time and space to deal with everything. So maybe that's exactly what you and this person need is just space, right? Like, you guys need time apart for them to realize some things, to feel your absence, uh, to, yeah, to feel the absence of your energy in there or you around. Because there is this energy of detachment. I was getting that with the Aquarius card. You guys are kind of like pulling back your energy or detaching from this person temporarily and pouring that into yourself. And they will feel it, okay? This person kind of almost feels lost without you and your energy in their life and in their energy. You know what I mean? And it's like they need to feel that. 
Um, they need some time to contemplate and to think and to really reflect here. We have Leo coming out now. We have Divine Feminine. Yep, didn't I say that? I said the Empress. Emperor, yeah. Empress or Empress Energy. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What about the Divine Feminine? See, they, it's like, they, nobody will ever be compared to you. I think I already mentioned that. Did I say that? But it says, I know I am settling if I'm not with you, but I feel I am stuck because I'm afraid of change. I'm used to what I have, even if it's not enough for me. I'm working on feeling deserving of you. They view you as this divine feminine, divine masculine, and they're they're settling in a situation because they, they're working on feeling worthy of this. They know that you bring them happiness. They know that you guys could have a family. They know that it's this person feels like they're not deserving of the, the life and the love that the two of you could have together. They don't feel deserving of it. And that's why they've been choosing to settle in another situation, whether it's with another person, wherever. They've been choosing to not choosing you. Let's just put it that way. They haven't been choosing you. They've decided to, to keep going down a different path that isn't you. So it's okay for you to go on a different path and focus on you. They've been doing what they feel is best for them right now or up until this point, right? Spirit says, guess what? It's okay for you to do the same thing. All right, we have Aries here. It says, I was impulsive, irrational, and selfish. I pushed, didn't I just say they pushed this away? I think, or I was trying to. I pushed this connection to its breaking point. I'm sorry for causing so much conflict in our lives. But it says, new beginnings. We need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start anew. And maybe this space that's going to be between you and this person, it's going to give them just enough space and just you enough space to realize that that's how you guys both feel. You guys don't want to let this go or they don't want to let this go. It's going to give you guys both enough time to really work on your own issues and work through their struggles, work through your struggles and really reflect on what occurred between the two of you and why it was wrong and what needs to change and how you contributed and how they contributed right that you guys love you love each other too much and like it with a love this strong why would you guys let each other go so let's have a new beginning so let's have a new beginning so let's have a new